Hey, YouTube. Hey, Facebook. I am Ruth J. Doing it God's way each and every day. I am the wealth doctor. Well, they know. You know, um, I've been vacant or absent um, in body for the last month. Uh, it has been, hey, boss lady, how are you? Uh, thanks for joining. Share this out. So, where have I been? Mm. <laughs> I have been driving through life on a spiritual plane for the last month. Pretty much out of body. I've had some experiences that I am still working my way through. But one of the things that came to me, um, you know, God always gives you what you ask for. So I have been on a health and wealth journey for the last two years. And finally, the health thing came through. And God took me out of this space called life for about almost a month. So I was in this whole experience of silence, checking it out. You know, I've become aware of certain things in the healing process that um, I'm already healed. And I have to see and think and be healthy. So I eat right, I take supplements and I do all of that. Yet and still, my body will do what it wants to do. And uh, so it did. It actually put me in an out of body experience for almost a week. So I was in the hospital and all that good stuff. And they don't know what they're doing. They really don't. Um, but one of the things that I realized is in order to heal, in order to heal the body, I had to heal the mind, heal the spirit, heal those things that no longer serve me. And I'm in that process right this minute. You know, being aware of what's going on in your life is so important. It's so important because I can't get better unless aware of what's going on. So one of the things that I became aware of about a year ago was that things were happening on just one side of my body. Did you know that you have a feminine side and you have a masculine side? The left side is the feminine side and that's where everything was happening. Um, things were just showing up. And I had to come to the conclusion that it had to have something to do with being aware of my feminine side and having forgiveness and, and, and loving me for me. Loving me. Things aren't happening to me. They're happening for me. And I have come to believe. I've begun this journey of clearing the feminine side, forgiving those things that I need to forgive. The fact that, uh, hey, Reginald, hey, Linda, thanks for joining, share this out. Knowing that there are some things that happened to us in our past, in our past lives, in our past, as we were babies, when we were growing up, that may not have a positive effect on us, you know. So let's be honest about this. I was raised in Washington, D.C. I um, lost my mom very early. 
Italy, which I really have not forgiven. I have not forgiven the fact that my mother left me at, at 10 and then gave me the responsibility of helping to raise my younger sister. And in that process, I had a whole bunch of not feeling so good about that. <laughs> Where it was my childhood. So I had to go back and look at that. I, I, I'm still going back and looking at that. A lot of times we don't let it go. Ayana has a new book out. Let it go. Marking how I feel about being the oldest and and having a, a child travel with me, you know, and I love my sister and, and, and my siblings and my family. But even at that, there were some things going on. So when I was out of it in the hospital and I was um, in this state of not really being in my body, but in my head, um, it was almost as if I had lost my body. I was just a glob of stuff. And in that glob, things came to me, voices from my mom, um, voices from my spiritual healers. And the last thing that I recall was one of my great friends said, Rosa, get up. It's not done yet. You ain't done yet. It was almost as if the world was telling me that, um, and spirit was telling me, I needed to wake up. So I started this whole womb healing uh, process because the womb is the strongest and the base and the root of everything. We hold these issues in our being that we need to write about and forgive and heal and nurture and love, and sometimes it takes being alone to do that. So before all this happened, I was feeling this feeling of being alone. And then God put me alone. Where I had to search through and come to realize that um, the journey is not over when you think it is. There are some deep seated stuff that we have to become aware of and clear out in order to go forward. We can't always look back and, and go back into our past feeling all the angst and anxieties of that past. Yes, you may have been molested. Yes, you may have lost your parents and your family and your friends. You may have not had the love that you thought it you deserved. And once you realize all that, let it go. Because I am still here. I am still expanding and I am still of service. And I'm not the only person that is in this experience. The experience of learning to love self, no matter what, no matter what experiences that are happening in the past. Stop looking in the rear view mirror and bring yourself into the right now presence. How are you feeling today? What do you see today? Are you acceptable of what's the experience that you're having right now? Staying in the now is the best place for me and probably the best place for you. Learning to love self will allow you to love others no matter what. No matter what the experience was in the past, 
Love yourself today. Do something good for self today. Write it down. What happened today that made you feel great? That made you feel better? That made you laugh? You know, can you laugh about the things that happened to you because they actually happened for you? So all the things that are in the past, all the things that are stuck in my root chakra, stuck in my womb, must be released in order for me to become the best that I can be. So I'm working on that. I'm working on that. So how am I working on that? Well, I'm reading this book called Womb With, and I'm actually doing the processes of meditation to clear out and heal my womb so that, hey, Avis, Eric, so that I can be the best me. I'm about to celebrate my 65th birthday and I desire to have joy and happiness in all forms. I desire to bring forth the abundance of life. The abundance of being me. The happiness that I have in me to share with the world. I can't do that if I'm not happy with me. I can't do that if I hold on to the past, to not be able to move past the past and into the abundance of future, of life. I desire to recreate an abundance of joy, peace, happiness. So how do I do that? Well, I get back to my spiritual practice. I get up in the morning and I meditate. And I will be starting that again on Meditate Till You Levitate every morning. I get back to the idea that I have something nice for me every day. Even if it's no more than having a cup of coffee sitting on the porch and just smiling and listening to her. Even if it's just as small as just taking a walk and grounding myself in the earth and the power. Every little thing that I do, I do for me. And it spreads out to you. I pray every morning. I meditate every morning. And I write in my journey journal the things that I intend to do or the things that happen to me and what I decree to be. I decree to have joy with my friends, by myself, just enjoy the beauty of God surrounding me. Stop looking in that rear view mirror with sadness and look forward to the blessings of the day. That's my, that's my mantra. That's my desire. And my desire is to bring you along with me. So go to my Meditate to Your Levitate page and like it. Join the group. Because we will be meditating every day. Whether you're there or not. Whether you can be with me at the, in live streaming or not. Go back to the replay. I intend to have the next 60 years in health and wealth. And I intend to bring you along with me. 
So share this out. Have a great day. <laughs> you were Donald, huh? Speaking to someone about this. Daniel. Yeah. Choose happiness. Choose health. Choose joy. Choose love. Because love heals everything. So I'm learning to love myself more, <laughs> being happy more, and not worrying about a thing. Because everything is going to be all right. All things are possible in this love place we call God's grace and mercy. So I am Rosa J, and I just thought I'd stop in, tell you what's been happening, and hope that you may have gotten something out of this message. I will actually be... Um, also live streaming about the womb wisdom too and letting it go <laughs> yes not a pun not a uh, a push to for you to uh, buy anything none of that this is free love i say no way God day, know that there is nothing you could ever do to change my experience and my wanting to share my wisdom with you. Be blessed. Oh, one more thing. Go to my YouTube page, Rosa J. Rosa Hodge. <clears throat> and like it and subscribe. Make sure you share this out. Be blessed.